Hello! I am interrupting, I believe, the start of an episode, because this is, we recorded this ahead of time. We got nominated for a People's Signal Award as the best buddy podcast, I believe, which is absurd. Uh, we're excited about it. We've never been nominated for an award before, so I'm here to talk about it and ask you to please vote for us if you wouldn't mind. It would be, to have an award-winning f- face would be hilarious on top of the fact that it is we're winning for the best buddy category which is an all-time flex to tell anybody in my life i'm an award-winning friend so please if you wouldn't mind i'm sure there are links in the show notes uh give us a vote we would really appreciate it thank you have a great day enjoy the episode Hello and welcome to another episode of the F- Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Panton and Gavin Free in no particular order, as long as they're behind me uh, in that order. This is episode 133. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is... This, <laughs> sorry. I was just thinking, I just realized after we're recording today, I have to do something between episodes uh, quickly when we stop. Um, Places to be? I'm back. Uh, no, not places to be. I just I, I realized I'm supposed to chug a thing of Bovril, and I, I don't have that, so I'll, I'll quickly put <laughs> oh, that yeah. together. Oh, yeah, you talked that up massively last episode. I did, and uh, I need to deliver on it. I uh, I got my Gerpler. is now here. I'm now back. I'm back in my, my comfortable situation that I'm used to, no longer in a in a different country. It's an exhausting <laughs> you, trip, and I'm, have I'm you glad to be back. Have you by any chance listened to... The additional 12 minutes of forensics we had to do after you left the last <laughs> no, episode? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Why did you need to do forensics? That's clearly there. Did you not think I was there? Oh, just listen. Just listen? We, okay. we put our sleuthing caps on. Really? Okay, well, well if, you didn't, if you didn't think I was there, which it sounds like you guys didn't, then how would I have the photos? Uh, long, we I mean, got 12 we minutes of the... Uh, in detail. Yeah. You did okay. Like, uh, like, sh- like Nick says, uh, they th- they thought about adding us to the CSI family. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric, did you submit us to any other awards or just that one? Uh, it, I nominated us for the Signal Awards uh, for Best Buddy, but I don't remember. I must have submitted <laughs> us to something else a while ago. Okay, uh, but uh, yeah, that. But but we are nominated for the Best Buddy category, Best Buddy Podcast at the Signal Awards. Well, we so. can't win, though. They're never going to read out our name. That's no, so here's the that's thing. why we have to win. Andrew yes. just keeps saying we need to be the award winning <laughs> face podcast. Yeah, here's the thing, <laughs> Eric. I fucking love that you put us in the buddy category, first of all, because that means that is a flex. If we win this award, I, we haven't even really mentioned on the show. We are nominated for a <laughs> signal award in the best buddy category. I'm sure there will be links in the show notes. Please vote for us because I want to be able to flex and every relationship I have, every friendship, if there's an argument, to, once we win an award for best buddies, we've received an award in friendship. How many people have <laughs> awards in friendship? You're right. Dude, we any are- argument you have with anyone, be like, oh, are you an award-winning friend? I don't think so. I think I'm in the right here. Oh, that's a well, great We are going to be award-winning friends. That is, well, assuming we win, uh, that is like the greatest accolade I could think of. It's there's layers to this one. There, there is an award ceremony in January. So if we win just the concept of somebody at an award show having to say f- face is very funny. <laughs> uh, Are you going to be there to accept? Uh, you know, I just came back from Austin, so I got to look and make sure maybe you have some travel miles built up. I could get a discount. We'll find out. I'll have to look into that. But also to just be an award winning f- face is so stupid. It's so dumb. I love it. It'd be amazing. It would mean so much to us. I, I generally don't like speaking beyond myself, but I think we can all agree it would be amazing to have. Don't speak for me. <laughs> Love to win this. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so, uh, what, people can vote? Is that what? We're- yeah. I think so. it's a public vote. I feel like I covered that, but... What Did do you, you mean, like Gavin? to call to action? Well, no, we haven't recorded. I think I'm going to do that after this, maybe, to throw on the start of the next episode. At this current moment, <laughs> we have 81% of the vote, so I feel pretty good about it. It's such a weird but concept. We're it's some... just everyone asking their audience just to vote. It's basically I like, who, who has a more... Real. Who has a, whose audience has more free time? <laughs> well, it's also... It's a strange thing, too, because I don't think... I think there's some bigger shows in the category, so it's... 
we need a, a larger percentage. And also, there is a former. What was John Kasich, Jeff? Is he a governor? Was uh, he was a, John role? Kasich was a governor, I believe. Yeah, he was the governor of Ohio, right? So, uh, maybe. He's, He's a Repu- Republican governor, I believe. Yes, doesn't really matter. He, governor, right. governor of Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. So there, we're up against a podcast, Gavin, in the buddy <laughs> category that is from a former. He's familiar with getting people to vote. We got some competition. <laughs> hey, yeah, I always feel uh, so weird trying to get people to vote, but this is this would be so funny. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah, it would be hilarious. But I think I feel like it's important to point out that at the end of the day, it's an honor just to be nominated. Absolutely, which well, we did ourselves apparently. Really? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, actually, in this case, it is because it's the best buddy award or what. I don't remember the specific wording, but to be nominated is pretty good as well. That's also a flex. I was nominated for a friendship award. Doesn't quite have the weight of winning one, but it's something. We get a little mileage out of that. So is this, is this specifically our three way buddy ship or is there two, is there a group of two within the three or the five, no, I guess, no. that is the head of the game? No, it's the five way buddy ship is what the five way buddy the five way. Yeah. yeah. It's a full, we had a full ship. It's a full, full ship. Five-way. It's like Noah's Ark of comedy. Yeah, and friendship. <laughs> uh, if you were an animal in Noah's Ark, what animal would you choose to be? <laughs> a fish. Yeah? Oh, they're sneaky. Uh, yeah, I think I would be... I think I'd, I'd be a dolphin. I'd be something yeah? that could get the fuck off that boat and wouldn't drown. So did he take the fish what? on the boat, or did he just hope that they'd be fine not getting washed <laughs> away? Don't. I don't know. It's oh. a great question. I think I'd be a llama. I don't know <laughs> fuck with llamas. You got like I feel like whenever I see them in like open ranges of grass, they're just kind of hanging out. They're walking around. It seems like a pretty low key, not stressful life. Nobody's hunting you for your meat, at least not in like a a general sense. I've never been. Yeah, to I don't think there's hunting llama taking place on the ark. I think Noah's got all that settled down. He's well, it, fed everyone. The, the ark is the ark is just for a time, Gavin. We're eventually going to return to the land and live for <laughs> live for a life. So the like the, question is, what animal do you want to be? <laughs> I guess, yeah, I can, yeah. There was an uneasy so. truce for forty days and forty nights, and the second <laughs> they got the second they got off that boat, the lion turned around and was like, "You're fucked." That's a great point. But if there is a mutiny, nobody's coming for the llama first. That's going to be a mid pack animal. <laughs> They're going to eat, Gavin, they're going to eat your ass first. You're going to be grilled up immediately in a food shortage. You're mm. delicious. <laughs> grilled up. You know, if you think about it from a literal standpoint, that Noah dude, uh, according to the Bible or whatnot, <laughs> he, he took a boy and a girl animal uh, from every species on Earth and put them on a boat together, right? Uh-huh. A, uh, nobody talks about what that smell would have been like. I can't imagine. Oh, God. Uh, it's been a couple seconds just thinking about that. But B, oh, no. can you imagine how pissed off that Noah dude would be now if he's like, why did I save all these animals if you're going to let most of them go extinct? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine if it was like a fairy? A fairy? I'm just, um, yeah, like, ima- well, because there's countless animals. There's so many animals. And Jeff brought up the point, one of each, the idea was that they would repopulate. The, the whole story is absurd. Could you imagine taking a boat somewhere and there are thousands of animals simultaneously fucking while you're just trying to get somewhere? Yeah. It'd be terrible. <laughs> this is an awful experience. It sounds like a ter- how like how did Noah keep his sanity and the concept how, that this is real? How long I mean, does it take it rabbits to reproduce? Ooh. I- I've always I thought know. Noah was a mug. He 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 looked at the problem all wrong. He <laughs> took full sized animals. <laughs> he f- took fully grown animals. If he'd taken yeah, babies. Male and female, each baby. He would have saved so much space, and he probably wouldn't have had to deal with an ark. Yeah, but then they wouldn't have their grown up, grown up animal counterparts to teach them the ways of. Oh, it's all instinct. It's instinct. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe. I will say, uh, I checked that uh, the gestation period for rabbits is twenty nine to thirty five days. So they may have started with two rabbits, but I guarantee you, they didn't end with two on that boat. Oh. Do you Absolutely. think? Do you think once a week Noah oh, had no. to just pop in and drown? <laughs> <laughs> no. maybe, maybe rabbits were the food they all ate. <laughs> this, He's I like, as long as there's two injury. left, we get off the boat, we're fine. <laughs> the idea that it becomes like a prison-like gang war of like space <laughs> of like each animals had to make their different groups and clans and fend off for themselves with the boat. It sounds terrible. This sounds and like you know an all awful... the stuff that's. All the animals are going to be excited to get off, like the lions and the tigers and all that stuff. And 
there's a bunch of shit that's just not going to want to get off the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Certainly not with the tiger on shore waiting for me to get off. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's also, what about dogs? Did they have two of every kind of dog? Well, I don't think a lot that's... of them had been bred yet in yeah, biblical but some, times. Some, certainly some of them must have been. I feel confident saying we're the first group of people that have pivoted from John Kasich to Noah's Ark material. What a transition. I don't know how we got here. Do you, how did we get to Noah's Ark? Did you guys know that Noah's Ark is supposedly, uh, has supposedly been found and it's on some mountain in Russia, in Siberia somewhere? No. I didn't know. I remember, reading, <laughs> I remember reading about that when, like 20 years ago, but they think they found it. And it was in like some I feel like was he drunk? of Siberia. <laughs> yeah, he crashed it. He crashed it on a mountain. <laughs> hey, you know what? What's that? Buddy? What? You know what's phenomenal? What's phenomenal? Oh, <laughs> oh! you got the foot, the, the the Vancouver Child Kicker keyboard <laughs> pad thing. House, you could live in that thing. Uh, you could. It works. An an absolute thing. treat. Um, it's definitely lower quality than my previous mouse mat. Uh, the edges aren't sort of hemmed in, so they're going to start fraying. And uh, it stinks. But other than that, it's really, <laughs> really effective. What, what well, does it smell like? Yeah. What is oh, just scent? like gammy rubber. I don't know. I couldn't, fi- <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't figure out which way was best to have it. Uh, I had it both ways, but this having it pointed to the left gave me more mouse room. So I thought that's, that's going to be the way, even though it's, it leaves you a bit of a gap towards you. I, yeah. It looks good. So do you sign off on this as a product we could sell? Yeah, but I do think we should do it properly. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ma- like, make it well. Uh, yeah. Did we ever discuss, <laughs> like, how the fuck this happened and why we have it in the first place? I don't yeah. think so. The last oh, okay. episode, I think. <laughs> did we? <laughs> I got two radically different answers. Yeah, 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 we had completely different responses. I don't think we... Uh, yeah, we talked about we... how Tony was <laughs> sending us the, the uh, rug samples. Oh, and the, I don't and they made And they made, like, a giant rug out of mouse pad material like i don't think this was intended to be a mouse pad right no yeah absolutely not no and it wasn't something we ordered they just sent it but the fucking one look at it and i can tell you that it's a fucking winner yeah what it's not perfect but you know it's an it's an accident <laughs> <laughs> what size shoe do you think that would be oh 60 my God. <laughs> 60, 60. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a size 60 for sure that's funny. Um, well, what was the fake number that I, I made up? It's that many. 67, that right? Yeah. Was it that? Oh, one? my God. I, I almost said it out loud when you Don't asked. Say it. Whoa, <laughs> it. I caught myself. I caught myself, but I almost oh, said it. Out loud. That would have been great. If you, oh. uh, I don't know when office material uh, is going to come out in relation to this. So I don't know if you should mention what that is. Yeah, it'll or, come up. What do you mean? I think okay. that was, yeah, it'll come. Come. was that in the best of 2022? Uh, yeah, it was. Okay. This is the best of 2020. We did a best of 2022, which we did our fall draft, which, you know, bumpy start, but I think overall went very well. <laughs> I thought it went very smooth. I don't know what yeah. bumps you're talking about. <laughs> we figured it out. We, we had a little bit of confusion <laughs> somehow at the start of the process, but we worked through it. I will say, I think you should probably, for like people excited about that, expect to experience it almost like a watch along, I would say, like yeah. the MVP2 thing or. Uh, what was the other one? The tuxedo. Uh, it's it's a lot of us reacting to clips, and I'm sure we'll compile them in some way for people to watch along as well. <laughs> Gavin posted the uh, the picture of uh, of a very disgruntled Eric. He was having a. Rough I had day. to I had to stop and take a picture. He, he he was like panting, and his hair was all all over the place, and he looked a little bit clammy. I think that might have been one of the worst days of Eric's year. It was Real- not. Good. That was uh, exceptionally that's bad. Funny. I'll say this. Really? I saw him age in the room. It, yeah. I just all, everything that came up was already taught was what I had brought up. <laughs> and then you guys brought after agreeing, like going with it with Andrew, getting in the room and then going, I don't know what's happening. And it's like I don't I don't know what else I can do. Like uh, are you a, saying a man that- has a man has a limit. <laughs> Are you saying that you don't like it when stuff gets brought up and then nothing happens? I'm saying oh, no. that I brought it up, and I know what you're driving at. I'm not going no. there. Uh, no, I, I, what I, I am saying oh, no. that I brought it up. Everyone was fine and told me I was wrong when I brought it up. And then when it was 
go time, everyone for for 40 minutes went, I don't know, what we're, what are we? So <laughs> hang on, what's the pool? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Eric, you uh, by any chance see the most recent episode of Regulation Animation? Uh, was that the bicycle one? Yep. Yeah. What do you think of the end? <laughs> they didn't bleep it again? Do you love it? No, uh, they did not bleep it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you, uh, are you, feel, are you, pr- are you feeling pretty good about it too? <laughs> are you the one who gets to message people and go, hey, what happened? Do we have to have a meeting about this? Or is that you or no, it's me? Great. Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, no, exceptional. Oh, shit. It's time for a. Uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> we we should mention, by the way, uh, these regulation animations are coming out every week. Are they on YouTube or just on yes, the yes. RT site? They're, they are. They're so they're on the YouTube R- and on YouTube. Face YouTube channel and the Rooster Teeth site. I think there's probably three or four of them out by the time, maybe five by the time that this airs. And uh, they're just delightful. I love them. I think they're yeah. so funny. The the uh, things they've added through the animation, I think. Oh, yeah, that's phenomenal. Provides Absolutely. so much to the story. It's the fantastic. ending could be better, but. <laughs> and the they, I, I, I agree with you 100% <laughs> on the same page with you Gavin absolutely why don't we I just lo- get rid of it in general I don't think we even need that part or at least do a different one oh. every time oh, it's the same oh, it's Gavin. the same one oh Gavin <laughs> these conversations that I've had regarding this specifically I agree with you I agree well, with you, you. Know, make them fresh then if we go to have them I don't know Are you, I, uh, you, want, to, you want to record one <laughs> <laughs> what just a thing saying uh, check out the episode it came from yeah I'll do it. okay all right, okay. there you go. We, sh- we should all record one, and then that now, that'll that'll keep it fresh. I'll see if the next one is bleeped, and then uh, and then I'll go ahead and do one. Oh, I I'll see if the next one is bleeped and jump out a window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I at this point, I hope it's never bleeped. Eric lives thought, in a one story house. He's not going to fall far. <laughs> right, it's just going to hurt a little bit. <laughs> ah, my ankle. <laughs> I'm at ninety two percent now. Uh, uh, I will say. If you're on the fence about whether to watch these or not, I don't know why you would be. Just fucking watch them. They're awesome and they're short. But I, the thing I like about them is that they provide little summaries of uh, deep lore about the show. Like, if you ever want to know where the Vancouver Child Kicker came from mm-hmm. uh, and you don't want to go back and listen 100 episodes back, it's in there. And it's in, like, a three-minute digestible format. Go Go Now is cut down to four minutes from an hour. Wow. And, uh, and they did a pretty good fucking job with it, right? Yeah. Uh, the bicycle store, all that stuff. It's like, it's a great little, like, uh, it's a great little primer for old jokes or, or existing jokes and where they began. They're fantastic. Gavin, I thought you were going a very different direction with that, which is oh. why I said, oh, no. What did you think I, I was going? Were, I thought you were you're bringing up uh, things that said they would be done but haven't been completed yet. The Icy Hot issue that is still lingering. Ooh. Ooh. Since the office day. That that's was, gonna, that was your big push. That's going to happen today because Eric agreed. We took a, you guys made a separate video. Eric was pretty adamant that he wasn't yeah. avoiding it. He just didn't have the Icy Hot. But then, uh, in, that's in, true. in that little uh, thing that we recorded, I put it in his hand. So are we doing it now or are we going to do I it I have it steps? with me right now. Are we all doing it? I mean, yeah, if yeah. we're all going to do it. I, uh, oh, by the way, uh, can I just say, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I think these office days are a real home run. I, we're making some of the best fucking stuff in these office days. We made three videos this week in the <laughs> office day that I think are all going to be just delightful. <laughs> they're so good and they're so productive. And there's just a weird element that's caused by Andrew not being there. When <laughs> Eric is mad at Jeff or myself, he'll, he'll like look at us and... <laughs> Like aim the madness at us. When Andrew, when he's mad at Andrew, he just has to blankly like aim all over the room to the point where he's just staring at Nick, shouting at Nick in the background, and Nick's like, "You're looking at me, but you're yelling at Andrew." Nick, Nick is right in front of me, like in my eye line, and I'm just yelling at Nick. Like, Nick has I, to like lean back almost, but it's Andrew taking all the brunt. Oh God damn. So are we doing this? Yeah, do you guys have your Icy Hot? Yeah, I, I do. Icy I'm hot. ready. Okay. Yeah. God damn it. I'm never doing this. Do this is the end of Icy Hot in the show. Yeah, this, this is last it. This is, we're done. This is the end of this bit. I said yeah, I would never do much. this again, and here I am doing it. One, two, three, go, or? Here. I've turned on my camera because I think that there's this thing where I'm trying to avoid this. I just didn't have it. I, I, I believe it. you. I yeah, believe you. I believe you. It's here. Let me full okay. screen on this. There you go. Right. That's about how much I have. 
Okay. All right, here we okay. go. Okay. On the balls. He's got. He's scrunching up his face. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Don't step too far back, Eric. Ah! Put it on my dickhead. Ah! Oh, <laughs> that's gonna suck. Okay. I'm okay. It's a little mentholy. It's ah, a little mentholy. I also don't think anyone else is doing this. I don't believe any of you. Here's my camera. Oh, I should get camera. Here's my there here's goes. my fucking icy hot right on my dick hole, right on my okay. pee hole, and there my left goes. nut. I I, I left Woo! it. I I'm staying off the right <laughs> side today because of uh I don't know. That's just where all the fucking gammy oh no crotch rot was. Oh, oh it sucks. Oh uh. oh ooh ah okay. <laughs> oh, oh god damn it. Oh, it's like smoking cools, but out of your dick. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's wow. start, ah. I hate, I hate uh. the waves of burn. Like it burns in a wave and it gets worse and worse. And then it slows you down. Know, you know what the worst part about this is? For a second, and then it goes now up that again. I have, now that I have the gerpler, I just want to put my balls in it right now. Because <laughs> it's so put your balls in the gerpler. Well, if no, you're going to put your balls in the gerpler, turn your camera on. Oh, oh God. Man, my dick. Oh, this burns. is terrible. Ah. Fuck. That is. Why did I bring this up? <laughs> Why did I do this? Fuck. I hope. I hope to God this is the last time <laughs> we ever. This is never ever, again. Ever. Never do this. again. Never again. Oh. Eric's headphones are off. Ah. It's now a good time to mention <laughs> that I didn't do it. Terrible. I can still hear you, dipshit. Oh, <laughs> shit. How can you hear me without the headphones? Of course phones? you didn't fucking do it. <laughs> no, to be honest, Eric, mm. you have my icy heart. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can oh. use your excuse now. <laughs> Why did I oh, do God. it then? God damn it. Jeff, you I... were going to do it when we weren't even doing an episode. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm always down. <laughs> I'm always down what? for stuff. How can oh. you hear me without headphones? <laughs> I was part of the plan and agreeing to not do it, but then I felt bad, so I did it. Fuck! <laughs> You're the only one not doing it right now, Gavin! The cold Fuck. the cold is such a relief, but the hot, like... Yeah. Isn't it so oh. bad? It's so much the worse than you think. Oh. It's weird how much I can feel my left ball, but not my right ball at all. It's, a it's weird to be hyper aware of Jeff. one ball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Nick said something interesting. Nick said, I didn't do it because I had an icy hot incident earlier today. What does that the fuck mean? Is that? Uh, so I had some back pain and I had my wife put one of those giant <laughs> XL patches on my back. And then mm -hmm. uh, I forgot. I took it off and I forgot about it. And I took a shower and uh, was using a washcloth on said area and then uh, proceeded to use it south of the border. Oh, shit. You, uh, you moved it. I you moved did. the effect. Yep, directly. To, well, basically, I needed a spicy icy. Uh, too spicy <laughs> icy. <laughs> so you did do it today, Nick. You just did it in a slightly more hardcore yeah, way. I just, what are the chances? I, just one round back. That's all. <laughs> this oh, this is sucks. This sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Uh, what are you doing to alleviate, Eric? Are you just riding it out? Or are you uh, dunking in the gurpler? Are you airing it out I'm by just, a window? Okay. Oh, I'm. I'm airing it out. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm oh, at God. a standing desk. I'm I just thought Eric's desk desk. <laughs> Eric's shorts are off, and he just showed me his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Ooh, I'm try. It's like you know, like a pinch and roll kind of situation. I'm just doing that like nonstop because it feels like that at least almost distracts from. Oh. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> You're taking it pretty well, oh. I think. Oh, it's so it doesn't bad. like you can't. No touch fixes it. Like there's nothing to do that fixes it. It just no keeps going. Yeah, yeah it's just, just you just, just time. You just ride the wave of oh. discomfort. It really is like smoking menthols. Like, Can how weird. I, now I real <laughs> I realize that only three of us are currently participating. But Nick already did today, and we know Gavin did. So can we just have it be it? I know not all five of us did it at the exact never same again. time, but we're done never now, again. right? Like, I don't want to do this never anymore. Never again. No, never again. All right. I didn't want to do it now. Are you glad that we didn't do it at work, Eric? 
this doesn't make, I was thinking about this yesterday. It still doesn't make any sense to me that what Jeff was going to do. What, what was that? Why was he going to put it on? I thought we were just all going to do it right there. Yeah, we were, yeah, still I thought we were doing it, it then. And then Why that, would we, we would do cut that? To a, that's not, we would cut to like an outside the, broadcast in the middle of the episode. No, but yeah. here's the thing, Eric. There's a fear that you would just slip out of this, that you've been avoiding it purposely, dodging the content, and we had you in a trap, and you're generally muted for most of the show. <laughs> I, th I thought we fucked up when you're like, nah, nah, we'll do it in an episode so they can hear the reaction. Your reaction is muted most of the time. <laughs> I was like, we're fucking idiots. We just let them get away with this. But no, you're... You're honorable. I'll give you the credit. Well, I, you yeah, got it I just didn't did do it, it before because I didn't have it. Again, I wasn't trying to weasel out of this. I just didn't have it. I'm on the hot oh, part God. now. When does yeah. the icy start again? Because I'm back to hot <laughs> and hot sucks. It's, it's just kind of like three bad. minute cycles, I feel like. Yeah. 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 Whoa. So, yeah, you're a, you, you're a fucking you're a champion, Eric. You did it. I, I uh, watching you dance around without your pants on. Uh, I'm I'm 100 percent certain <laughs> yeah, I was, you're not faking that. Watching <laughs> Eric dance around, I've started copying his movements because I'm like, maybe he knows something. And I'm like, no, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> oh, We're shit. both stuck in this. <laughs> it's like, I was trying to copy your leg moves you were doing. I'm like, this isn't helping at all. We're both, there's, there's no help. There's no hope. Yeah. You just got to ride it. Oh, there like really uh, is like no respite from this. This sucks. No, no, sucks. There's, no there's no hey, escape. If you're listening to this and you're like, maybe I'll do this. Or don't do don't. this. This just sucks. Don't. Yeah, don't. It's not do, fun. Don't do this. So I think the next challenge the, would be uh, icy hot and then the soda chug at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> done with icy hot. I think you just explode, dude. Speaking of soda chug, Andrew and I have uh, we have been talking about. Uh, he got his gurpler and he texted me to tell me he agrees that the speed of chug, which is an I've decided is a new unit of measurement, the speed of chug on the gurpler is is at a is at, it's like the throttle's wide open. It's insane. Yeah. I listened to what you said, Jeff, and I was like, I guess that kind of makes sense, but I didn't fully believe it to experience it. It's like a whole new world of chugging has opened since using my Gurpler. So if we decanted it's an entire can of soda into one, are you saying it would go down a lot faster? That's yeah. what I, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. I think the soda oh. chug would be so you, much more doable. Do you guys remember the old man show? Not the Doug Stanhope one, but the original one, where they had that old dude who would wear the suit and drink a whole like a, a whole mug of beer in one go no. and say ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy chug chug and he was great. <laughs> he was like he was no. famous for it he could drink all the beer in the world at once it's like the gurpler trains you to do that ah yeah there he is <laughs> oh that guy yeah yeah i forgot about that guy i've never seen that guy i think he's dead now but uh i would assume he looks dead I do drink beer he fast. looks dead. <laughs> well, you can just tell when, when, like, just by the quality of a picture, yeah, whether the guy is it, dead, right? Look at how excited age. the guy in the bottom left is in that photo. It's age plus revolution. Resolution equals yeah. death. You look for like, <laughs> you look at resolution, and then you look around for mullets, and you think that guy's probably dead. <laughs> that guy in the bottom left looks like Alec oh. Winters in uh, uh, the vampire movie. What's that called? Lost Boys. Have you been naughty or nice this year? I don't know where I'd rank potentially going to Austin and not seeing my friends at all. Would that be naughty? That could be naughty, but it's for a bit. I don't know how to rank that. Anyway, well, you might fool Santa, but you definitely can't fool your internet provider. They've seen all your late night naughty searches this year. That is not the type of naughty I was thinking of. I was thinking like a prank, not like the whatever. But you know what? Your business is yours. That's why this holiday season, gift yourself the gift of privacy with ExpressVPN. Guess what? Private mode doesn't keep your activity private. Your internet provider like AT&T or Verizon can see all the websites you've clicked on. They even know how much time you spend on each of them, and they've likely sold it to advertisers. But with ExpressVPN, all of your traffic gets rerouted through an encrypted server, so all of your browsing activity stays between you and God. Please personalize if not comfortable. <laughs> ExpressVPN's app works on all your devices, so whether you're on your phone, tablet, laptop, whatever, you're protected. Best of all, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button to turn it on, and you're instantly protected. So take yourself off the naughty list with the number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com face and get three extra months for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash face, expressvpn dot com slash face. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. 
Uh, it's the holiday season. You're probably doing a lot of shopping. I personally hate going into the stores this time of year. Everything is so busy and stressful. People are generally miserable. It sucks. I avoid it at all costs. The thing is, though, when I'm shopping online, I very rarely know what any of the promo codes are. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the Internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds and Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. I have saved a lot of money on Honey, whether it's electronics or clothing. It's just such an easy, installable thing. I'd recommend it to anyone. Did you know that you can even save more when you ask Honey to keep track of price drops on your holiday shopping list? If the price drops on anything on your list, you'll instantly get an alert to let you know. If you don't already have Honey, you can be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. I'd never recommend something I don't use. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash face. That's joinhoney.com slash face. Can we talk about notifications for a second? Who actually leaves those sounds on anymore? Well, besides that kind, that's another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Whether your thing is vintage teas or recipes for ghee, start selling with Shopify and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of your favorite businesses worldwide. With Shopify, you'll create an online store in your vibe, discover new customers, and grow the following that keeps them coming back. Shopify has all the sales channels sorted, so your business keeps growing from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform, even across social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And thanks to 24-7 support and free libraries full of educational content, Shopify has got you every step of the way. It's how every minute new sellers around the world make their first sale with Shopify, and you will too. Shopify makes selling simple so you can put yourself and your ideas out there. Whether your thing is making ebooks or earrings, Shopify makes your success possible. When you're ready to launch your thing into the spotlight, do it with Shopify, the commerce platform backing millions of businesses down the street and around the globe. Go on, try Shopify for free and start selling anywhere. This is Possibility powered by Shopify. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash face, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash face to start selling online today. Shopify.com slash face. Uh... I have something. I don't know if I should bring it because we're doing two today. I don't, Gavin, do you have a lot of stuff in your notes? I got a funny, uh, funny phone call from Jeff after our, <laughs> after our office. <laughs> what? I wonder. Okay, we're going in that. What happened? Why it was not Thursday? Call? It was after the previous recording, wasn't it? It was, it? It was after, after the, the last uh, episode. Uh, <laughs> okay, episode one hundred thirty-two, I believe. Uh, I had. I'll just say this. That episode, <laughs> that episode did my head in a little bit, and I got pretty demoralized. And I, I, I drove to the grocery store, and I sat in the parking lot to just try to kind of un- <laughs> <laughs> <just> un- <laughs> what? figure out Dude, what, okay, okay, process what that, happened. Andrew and, uh, and Eric, what do you think? What? You, what do you think happened in the episode that he's referencing? <laughs> uh, the one, the one it, where I left early? Yep. Yeah. Huh. I what can't think of what would have about? fucked you up. Like, oh my yeah. god, the piss smell. Like, it, I don't know. You went a what? lot about piss. My brain one hundred percent broke in that episode. What happened? I was telling you guys. Uh, I was hyping up a big story. <laughs> this is this is this is in my notes for today. It's called admission, and that's how I called Gavin. And I said, I need, I need. I'll say it like I said to Gavin. I need to be honest with you guys about something that just <laughs> happened in the recording we did in episode 132. Uh, I was telling you guys some some wacky McDonald's facts that I learned from oh, Emily, no. who was reading Wikipedia oh, no. one night, and uh, she was mentioning a bunch of stuff to me. In that, I was really hyping up that Willard Scott was a big time celebrity and it was a big deal. And then it was incredibly <laughs> demoralizing when you guys didn't know who Willard Scott is. Who, by the way, yeah. I still think I get it because you're not American, but I think anybody in America knows who Willard Scott is, hopefully. At least anybody over 25. <laughs> and uh, he's the Smuckers guy who, uh, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And uh, however, I messed up and I said Wilford Brimley. And then I had to uh-huh. correct myself and say <laughs> Willard Scott. Yeah. That was great. What actually happened is when I 
ingested the information, I somehow transposed Willard <laughs> Scott and Wilford Brimley in my head. And so when I learned it was Willard Scott in the moment, I thought it was Wilford Brimley. This entire time, I thought it was Wilford Brimley. I have been telling people that aren't you guys that Wilford Brimley invented Ronald McDonald and that he was the original Ronald McDonald. When I went to my own notes, which I copied from Wikipedia, and I read them to you guys, and I read Willard Scott, I thought, that's weird. I must have mistyped. Or like, what a weird autocorrect. That doesn't make any sense. And I got tongue-tied for a second. So then I was like Googling it. And when I Googled it, Wilford Brimley, McDonald's does not come up. <laughs> Willard Scott McDonald's came up really fast. And I realized it was never Wilford Brimley this entire time. It was always Willard Scott. I completely overhyped this thinking it was Wilford Brimley. And I spent weeks. I think I told my mom about this. I told people. I told other friends about this. I told Emily's friends. I told Emily's family about Wilford Brimley. I probably told 25 people that Wilford Brimley invented Ronald McDonald. And then I found out in the moment from my own notes that I had my dumb ass just mis... I just read Willard Scott as Wilford Brimley somehow and got it wrong, and it just fucked me up in the moment, and I didn't know how to recover from it, and I just stumbled through it and ended up picking the wrong side because I didn't know how to explain this, uh, and then I felt so guilty about it after the episode, I had to call Gavin and... and, and uh, <laughs> it was such an amazing pivot, though, because I wouldn't have guessed that from based on what happened. No. But it's, it's, such, it's so much more the complicated move when you were like, oh, it's... <laughs> you know, you could just be like, it oh, wasn't... I, I wrote it wrong, or yeah, I remembered it, it wrong. It wasn't an instance of you've screwed up in one moment. You've had this wrong the entire time. The entire time. Yeah. The and, and I've been, time I've been passing disinformation on. Uh, and then you're suddenly having to hype up the other guy as, as though he's as famous as Wilford right. Brimley. And, and it's like, yes. I love Willard Scott. <laughs> Willard Scott is no Wilford Brimley. Uh, I recognize and acknowledge that. And boy, talk about being crestfallen. In the moment when I realized I had been out all excited about Wilford Brimley and it wasn't him and it was Willard Scott, that's a fucking letdown. And I was dealing with the emotional <laughs> turmoil of that letdown, plus the embarrassment of getting it wrong, that's plus so like funny. the realization. Like as I'm explaining this and trying to like trying to trying to get my foot out of my own ass in front of you guys <laughs> in the conversation, like pictures of people in my brain are popping up who I told about Wilford Brimley. And it's like, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my cousin and his husband. Oh, there's... And I'm just like, oh, my fucking God. It just got worse you, every like, second. Doing, make, having to make, like, the STD uh, calls like of everyone you've told. Like, make, yeah. <laughs> just so the information's correct. God. In fairness to you, if you just look at this photo of Wilford Brimley and someone said this man invented Ronald McDonald, I feel like it's very <laughs> believable. You know what? In my heart, he did. <laughs> it feels like that's a thing that man could have done. I would be unfazed if I didn't know who Wilford Brimley was and you just said this guy invented Ronald McDonald. I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. He looks like he in that photo. He looks like uh, he looks like if Panama Jack got diabetes. <laughs> You, this makes so much sense now <laughs> it does. that you mixed it up for yourself and we had to be the ones to correct you because when you kept hammering how cool it was and then it was yeah. Scott, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that is kind of cool, but also like, and then you got a bit defensive when we were laughing about yeah. it. Yeah. It, it was, yeah. it all makes sense. And I, I love the phone call afterwards because it was the most one-sided phone call. It was, it was Jeff basically <laughs> talking for two minutes. I didn't say a single, I was just laughing the entire time as he was. Will, that I don't think I said more than like eight words on the whole phone call. There was so much build up to this super <laughs> celebrity megastar is the creator. And Willard Scott is such a nothing for me. I forgot that that was a thing we even talked about in that episode. What? It's it already left. What Gavin said after I was finished with my spiel is he said, this is the best phone call I've ever received. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't get up. Oh, what oh. a move. I'm on a mission like, too. That takes was, that takes a lot. I was trying to get him. I was trying to get him to let to 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 tell me I don't need to tell you guys. I was like, I don't need to mention this on the podcast, right? This isn't funny <laughs> enough. This is, and he was like, No, 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 no. <laughs> but I was like, Ah, it's probably not worth it. And he's like, It's worth it. You got to do it. So, ah, oh, uh, it's so funny. There's my stupidity laid out bare. Oh, all I really hope that that comes back to me in some way. That like six months from now, I'm going to be somewhere and I'm going to overhear someone say, do you hear Wilford Brimley invented Ronald <laughs> McDonald? Like, I, I just hope 
that misinformation spreads. Well, I think we've basically we've got potentially got a new verb out of that. Like brimleying it. Brimley? Yeah. Yeah. You brimleyed it? Yeah. That would, what would that be? That would be like Just thinking... Just when, when the core piece of information is wrong. Yeah, and it's on you. It's your I fault. I did that once like you with were a, never right. I did that once on a podcast, I think, where... I think Jeff was on it, or it was after a podcast. And I, I read some info. I, I found out that, like, gin was just vodka, and I told, I told everyone in the room, and then everyone was like, no, you're an idiot. Uh, and then I, I realized I just, I think I just dreamt it. I think I dreamt <laughs> someone being like, do you know that, that gin is just vodka with like something in it? And I was like, and I couldn't ever trace back. Like what, at first I thought I'd read it somewhere. So I started Googling it and nothing came up. And I was like, I must have just dreamt it. Forgot it was a dream and just started telling people. And Jeff, you were the one who were like, <laughs> was like, well, you're an idiot. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have no memory of that, but. Yeah, That's I fully so uh, brimly did that. You, you brimly did. <laughs> I feel like that kind of happens with song lyrics all the time, too. Like, just not hearing them correctly and then living for years thinking a song goes a certain way when it's, it's not at all accurate. Dude, I do that all the time where I'll just fill in based on what it sounds like, and then I'll, yeah. I'll know I'm not doing it right. Like, I, yeah. sometimes I'll just even replace lyrics with just something insane knowing it's wrong just because I don't know the real lyrics. And then I'll look up the real lyrics, and I still don't use them. Like, I have some That's songs funny. where I deliberately yeah. sing the wrong thing. That's great. Like um that Bon Jovi song. <laughs> uh, the first the first line I think is Tommy used to work on the docks, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> then some blah 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 blah. The next the next verse I always sing it as Gina drank a barrel of AIDS. I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why it fits so perfectly. When I'm, <laughs> I've just always that's always replaced the actual lyrics for me, and, and I then can't it sounds, understand why. It sounds better in your head now, right? <laughs> yeah. Not the actual lyrics. Have you ever had a situation where, like, you're doing karaoke and that is fucked to you? Like, you've just said what you believe instead of... Just, like, that would play so poorly to a group of random people. I would never do karaoke. That'll never be a problem. Yeah, I don't think... I've never done it, and I don't think I ever should. That's fair. I have that with... Uh, I don't like Pearl Jam very much, but there's one song I, I do kind of dig from Pearl Jam, and I thought for years the line was, like, it's like, she lies and says she's in love with him, can't find the butter man. And apparently it's a better man, and I, I, I figured that out eventually, but I like the idea of a butter man, and so I've been saying that I for... Too. I continue to do that. That's the it's name butter bean. The, the name of this song is Better Man. <laughs> yeah, it was like track three or something and when, when it was on my CD player. I don't pay attention to names oh. of songs. Oh, that's so good. It's like, what, what's your favorite Polo G song? I don't know, number three, number six, and number nine. I, I, don't, I don't keep that information. If I'm not looking at a vinyl, I'm, I don't need to know it. Oh. Uh. Do you do that, Andrew? Uh, yeah, I had one very recently with the Nickelback song Rockstar, where I completely misheard a section of it, and the follow-up lyric, which I did remember correctly, validated my belief. It was, the lyric was something like, live in hilltop houses driving 15 cars, and up until like last week, I'd always heard it as, live, live with a big tough posse driving 15 cars. And in my head, I was like, well, you're a big, big, tough posse. You got a big, big posse. You're going to need you're going to need a variety of vehicles for your posse. So that just checks out. So if anything, it makes more sense than the actual lyric. Possibly. Yeah. They're, they're all going to need to get around. I wonder yeah. if we could find like if we could just pay attention when we're listening to songs, compile a list of all the lyrics that we've gotten wrong and then petition the artists to change them to our <laughs> lyrics because they're better. I don't think Bon Jovi will do much. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think it's a tough case. I like the idea, though, of like lyric court, like a Judge Joe Brown situation where you take an artist to trial over their lyrical usage, try to get it changed because you have a better combination of words. It's an outrage. It's, it's dumb. I Maybe we it. should ask some of the comment leavers or regulation listeners to, come, to become comment leavers and see uh, any, any sort of in-brain lyric changes that they've done over the years. Yeah. What are your missed Sort of lyrics? unintentional ones. Yeah. I'd love to, I'd love to have that information. Speaking of uh, food stuff, I've, uh, I've elevated. As you guys all know, I'm a, I'm a desk chef, proud of. I've innovated in the desk chef realm, but we had a conversation. I don't remember if it was last episode or the one before it, where we exchanged Thanksgiving recipes. Mm-hmm. We did a whole thing about mm-hmm. it. And Gavin, uh, who, who remembered and <laughs> did a lot of prep for it, posted a photo of tater tots and cranberry sauce. <laughs> that was his great... His great recipe. That was my stuffing. It was. Yeah. Well, 
it was your stuffing, but I was thinking as uh, I thought a lot about it, it hit me later in the evening that I should take this dish on because I think there's I think there's <laughs> potential within this dish. There's something there for it. Uh, and as a Canadian, especially, I thought I am qualified for this because I realized, in a sense, you've just created festive poutine. Poutine, big part of Canadian culture. You get your fries, cover it in gravy. You got cheese curds. What if, what if a crantine were to exist for the holiday <laughs> times? A tater tot dish with cranberry sauce. Yeah, delicious <laughs> crantine. Sounds like an ointment. <laughs> yeah. So I, <laughs> crantine is making my balls burn like crazy right now. Actually, it sounds like jock itch medicine. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I don't want that. God damn it. This is a delicious. This is potentially be a delicious dish. So I went out, I got, I got all the things needed for it. I got, got the homemade cranberry sauce, got some bacon, mozzarella cheese, and a nice big bag of tater tots. And I got the mix going and uh, I made crantine. You got all that for Christmas. Look at that. Wow. I, I did. Oh, well, yeah. Obviously, got to have Oh, yeah. Let's but, dissect this photo. All right. But let's uh, see. one, two, <laughs> three. Yeah, yeah, five Christmas trees. What's that thing in the jug? The th that's the cranberry sauce. Yeah, but what's yeah. the the ring in it? So, that's Gavin, just, I, I was looking at that, too. That Instead of just the measurements on the side that you see on one side. Oh, also, I see. Yeah. It's just so it's, like when you're looking down I at see. it from the back. It's yeah, called a it liquid measuring it. cup. Yeah, it yeah. confused the shit out of me when he first... It was like, oh, is that the thing we're not going to talk about? And then I figured it out. Dude, I'm that is you. fancy. I've never seen one like that. It's you got the fanciest the stuff. Oh, it's nice. It's a, it's a nice... Uh, listen, as a desk chef, I take all cooking very seriously. You got to have the right tools, the right equipment. Right, but that's not your desk, though. That is in the kitchen. That's exactly right. I'm saying, I, but I, as a desk chef, I take cooking seriously. No right. matter where the situation is, you got to be prepared. So I... I put the, the tater tots on, heated up some bacon, mozzarella instead of like the cheese curd, homemade cranberry sauce. And this is, uh, let me introduce you, some crantine, some delicious crantine. <laughs> Got to mix it all in. Oh. A little bit of cheese. Oh. And wow. let me say, oh. it was very good. It was shockingly good. There's room for improvement. Needs more bacon. Needs more cheese. I was a little bit of worried. I was, I was worried about the cheese cranberry mix, but it was it was tasty, Gavin. Yeah, I mean, sure you, you need cheese. Uh, well, I mean, if you're going for the poutine effect, That's I would say point. you need cheese. How uh, how fast were you moving when you took this photo? What do you mean? Well, I mean, the, look at the tree behind it. It's pretty. It's like a oh, motion blur. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had it's a, like yeah, a, this is like a Jeff level photograph. Fuck that. Guy. No, it, it's it, not. It's absolutely get out like of here. The, like Jeff the, the middle photo. tater tot is totally in focus, and the tater tots on the right, where it looks like the jizz is, completely in in motion. I it agree like with I Jeff. I agree with Jeff that it looks blurry. This is not a. This Jeff is not level. No, photo. Absolutely, hundred percent, hundred percent, absolutely not, hundred percent. It just looks like when I used to overuse radial blur when I first got Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, I'm bad at taking photos. Not Jeff bad, All right. but not great at it. So yeah. how do you think that would, how do you think that would sit in a turkey if, if you were, if you were going to try it as stuffing? Well, uh, no, I, no, I think it'd be terrible in a turkey. I'm not a, I don't like stuffing in turkey generally, but I, I think as a dish, I would actually encourage people to crantine? try crantine. Yeah, I think it's okay. surprisingly good. So <laughs> try it as, try it as a dressing, not a stuffing. It's stuffing when it goes in the turkey, it's dressing when it doesn't. That's that is size. just... It's a shitload of cranberry, though. That, yeah. like, I feel it's like whenever you have cranberry, it's like a little dollop. It's a no, lot. Yeah, you're right. I was trying to like get the right amount. I was trying to match the gravy with cranberry ratio. There's definitely things to adjust in it. But I was surprised by how good it is. It's a great the sweetness with the saltiness of the maple bacon. And then you have mm. the just, oh, it's good. It was good. It was shockingly good. But my innovation well, that's one for the recipe book. It yeah. is. And I got another recipe. My innovation didn't start, stop there because I, you know, <laughs> recently. You're going to top crantine? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm not going to say I'm going to top crantine, but uh, I, I was, I was in, I was in the, the kitchen once again, elevating. As we all know, I just recently returned from Austin and one of my favorite staples <sighs> of Austin, one of my favorite <sighs> things I love. And it makes me upset that they're not everywhere. It's breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos are a fucking joy. I love them so much. They're delicious. Oh, they got the crunch, you got the potatoes in there. It is wonderful. But we don't have them where I live. I've never experienced a, a great breakfast taco anywhere else. Not that I'm well-traveled, but they certainly aren't here. So I was, I was missing 
was missing Austin, the place I just left. Stop I saying thought, well, that. <laughs> well, we don't have breakfast tacos. Maybe I can make something because they've they're well established. So I guess we just don't want them for whatever reason. Maybe I could make something else. So I have invented. I don't think anyone's done this before. Let me introduce you to the pulpalza, the breakfast pulpalza. This is a tortilla fitting in the same tradition as the breakfast taco. You got your ketchup as the red sauce. Got some olive oil for cooking the food. You got hash browns in place of cheese on the pulpalza. And then some pineapple, because I love it's my favorite what, pizza What are you calling it? It's a pulpalza. A breakfast pulpalza. Potato pineapple pizza. Breakfast pulpalza. <laughs> what does it have to do with being a, ta- a taco? Well, because it's a breakfast taco. We don't have breakfast tacos where I live, so clearly so you're just not going to... So fucking make one. You've got a tortilla no, no, right no. there. Put eggs no. in it, and you've got a Listen. breakfast taco. Why, Listen why are you replacing... Why is the cheese replacement hash browns? Because it's shredded. It has a very cheese-like... That's you get what it is? Hash- That's yes. the thing that you think replaces it? It's shredded? Yeah. I also didn't shredded know you hash could browns. buy potato in a carton. Yeah. He he's like dehydrated hash browns. He's <laughs> like, I really like breakfast tacos, so I decided to make a pizza. No, listen. You're not listening to me, Jeff. The breakfast <laughs> taco has been around for a long time. We have not adopted the breakfast taco. We clearly do not want the breakfast taco. If we wanted the breakfast taco, it's been around long enough and established enough, it would be here. So I'm trying to make an alternative to the breakfast taco that might catch on because we don't have a breakfast pulpaza. So it's almost so, like tricking people into having breakfast tacos. It's, it's, I'm trying to get something close to it. And this is my creation, the breakfast pulpaza. So it's very, it's a simple start. You get your tortilla shell, you put it down, drop some ketchup in it, spread it out just like a pizza. It's like we're going with a pizza base here. We're getting Eric, would going. you say that's too much uh, sauce? Yeah, I mean, it's ketchup, so yeah. <laughs> really? You know what? You know two great flavors that go great together? Ketchup and pineapple. <laughs> this is well, insane. It's this a red is, sauce. Andrew, this is like, this is really something else. No, man. just wait Just wait a second. This we're gonna, we're going. We're going. So, you have access to nice pizza sauce. So that's you, ketchup. Yeah, because it's hash browns. I love Ketchup and hash browns are a great combination. It's delicious. And pine. Okay, keep going. And tortilla. Get, pineapple's my favorite. So you get the tortilla, you put uh, the sauce down, right? That's step one. Then you cook the hash brown, and you lay it out, and it looks just like shredded cheese. You got a nice shredded cheese base. It's almost, <laughs> you look like you got a cheese pizza, but it's a pulpaza. It's a breakfast pulpaza. So you get that going. Then you cook up the bacon. This is where I made my mistake. <laughs> what I should have done is I should have heated the tortilla first because you want it brown, so you got a crunch, and it also helps with the durab, like holding the white, because you don't want you don't want just a loose, like not cooked tortilla. It will not hold. So you get that on. I did it in the wrong order. I did that last. That should be the first. Er- Eric is livid. <laughs> this this is the craziest fucking thing. No, this is so out of control. Like I don't no. even know, Andrew. It's like it's like. An alien it saw food and then tried to make it based. This is crazy. This, this is, is so ha- fucking nuts. I just want a breakfast taco and it's not no, going to happen. Don't. Oh my God. And listen, <laughs> I was remi- Eric, I was reminiscing about my time in Austin. I was missing the breakfast tacos. And so I had You've to clearly, up with clearly never been to Austin or seen a breakfast taco in person. Oh no, I've had several. I love them. That's one of my favorite things to get. I don't know know how you got from there to this. I can I ask you to? Can I ask? I I know you said you made a mistake with the tortilla. Yeah. Can you keep going? Because I have to see how the pineapple plays into this fucking monstrosity. (laughs) Absolutely. So the next step is you got to get your bacon going. You cook your bacon and you put it on with the pineapple. You get it on top. So now you look like look at how delicious that looks you got the salty with the sweet you got the ketchup with the potatoes everything's enhancing each other the problem is that is not a cooked uh tortilla shell at all it's just it's it's going to be difficult after a lot of difficult moving <laughs> from the plate to the oven i cooked it and this is the final result Look at this. Look at how fucking delicious this looks. Nice and crispy around the edges. You got your pineapple. You got your bacon. The sweetness. The ketchup. And honestly, Eric, not enough sauce. That's one of my other things. It needed more ketchup. It lacked <laughs> ketchup. Probably 
needs cheese. I like cheese the one thing that's well. so easy to add at the end of cooking is you didn't put it on. Well, it just felt weird to put on top. It felt like it <laughs> oh, needed okay. to be below. <laughs> yeah, that'll well, be what, weird. What, it, you've, seemed... what you've created is uh, a uh, Hawaiian pizza for lactose intolerant people. No, no, listen. It's got everything you need when you start your day. You got some carbs with the potatoes. You got the bacon. You got some fruit. Get that 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 vitamin C. I'm assuming. What does pineapple have? Is it vitamin C? It's got to have something good in it. It's a good good start to your day. Wake up, get a, a breakfast pulpaza, and just start your day. Here, I cut I bet it. Your piss would be smelling pretty good after that. And Matt, yeah, you have two of these. Mm. Great smelling piss. Had to take a little <laughs> cut, little slice, little slice of the pulpaza. All in Come all. On. Pretty fucking good. Don't eat that. The first He's, bite you take from that, it's going everywhere. That no. Is, I want to see what's under you after you finish eating that. No, 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 no. You got to you hold it the right way. There's a technique to it. But I think if I were to do the tortilla first and really get that crunchy, reduce some of the hash browns, probably get rid of the pineapple and put some cheese on there. That's a great, <laughs> that's a great breakfast pizza. What if you just uh, put a little dollop of crantine on top? How do you think that would go? That's that would be way too much. That's not oh, okay. a good balance of flavor. Uh, but the yeah. sweet and salty. You guys are reluctant to this. I'm gonna. I'll put one of these together for you. You're gonna see the way. I'm not a, a big ketchup guy. I'll be honest. No, I'm really. I'm with Gavin. And also, how do you spell pulpiza? Pul- 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 Here, it's easy. This? Let me. I'll. I'll, uh, I'll just uh, copy and paste and uh, drag it over. Uh, couldn't so just say my... it out loud, but. Well, oh, no. It's. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'm gonna. You know. I'm gonna just gonna put it here so you can see it. Instead of spelling out loud. That's not how Pulpus. I wrote. Okay. Breakfast Thank, I'm glad I asked. Hey, Pulpus. Jeff, is that how you would have spelled that? No, it is not. That is not how I would have spelled it. Uh, however, uh, I guess it'll go <laughs> It'll go in the cookbook like that. It, absolutely. Poet Pleasure. <laughs> Plus, I think there's a lot of innovation. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm a desk chef. I got into the real kitchen because I felt this needed it. I couldn't use the tools I have. There's a lot of room here. I was expecting a better reaction from you. I thought you'd be excited about the crantine and the pulpaza, but uh, it's okay. I was excited about the crantine. I think the pulpaza is an affront uh, to food. Really? Why? Yeah. Uh, what about Because it? of the ketchup and pineapple. Uh, also because you <laughs> described it as missing a breakfast taco and then left out the most important ingredient in breakfast tacos, which is 100% <laughs> always egg. Yeah, but here's... Uh, unless you're getting can, a bean we, and cheese no, taco. Can we talk about the egg thing for a minute? Because uh, the please. egg has been... So this has been a problem in my life for a while now. As we, we established on this show, I don't think I've ever just had an egg before. I know yeah. I've had egg and other things. Like, I'm sure I've had yeah. some in, like, fried rice, but I've never tried scrambled eggs. And you were like, I'm going to make you scrambled eggs. So now it feels like a content thing. And there have been so many times. <laughs> how long have we been doing this? For two and a half years? Where I'm in a position to have eggs and want eggs and say, no. I'm not going to have eggs because I feel like it's a content thing. I feel like I need to do it in a content, content situation. So that's why there are no eggs. Eggs are not a part of my life because I feel that will be a content thing that you are part of. This is unreal. I'm struggling to look at the pul- pulpals uh, <laughs> and consider getting it down for dinner. I can't imagine having it for, bre- for breakfast. Can you imagine those flavors in your mouth right when you wake up? I will say you're. I hate. I hate to fucking say it, but you, uh, your egg explanation makes sense to me. Absolutely. I don't. No, yeah. It all makes sense. I. I agree. Yeah. It's for content. It's a What's content the content thing at this uh, point. No. Um. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I agree oh, with the spirit. Oh, Mr. No. Hey. Mr. I agree with the spirit <laughs> of what he's saying. But what the fuck are we releasing? It's just filming Andrew eating. Eggs? <laughs> we just recorded ah, a five-minute thing of you not putting on Icy Hot. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Uh, How right, is that right, lower than that? Right, Andrew, I We agree, watched a monkey movie. Bad. What are we that's doing? That's bad, and we shouldn't have done it. No, Guys, I think it's great. This, I think this it's good best content. buddy award is out the window. <laughs> no. Season five, Andrew, is so much angrier than season one and two, Andrew. I, just, I love it. <laughs> he's, he's saying I won't eat eggs because we're going to film me eating eggs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying film, but I feel right. like it was talked about. It was part of the show. Like, I feel like that yeah, should like, be a thing like that life. is on the show. Life sometimes becomes content and you, it, or it might it have the potential of content. So, yeah, I can see it. Uh, I think that's valid. I think this is all Ooh. valid. I think this is, I'm not shocked. 
because innovation is often scoffed at initially. I, it might be a little bit ahead of the curve for your palates, but you'll I, see. I'm going to convert you both. The words that came out of your mouth, Andrew, this, that you were a little bit surprised at our reaction to that. Yeah. Well, here's when the, I would like to point out your reaction to my plowman's. That's what I was about to say. This motherfucker is coming at me for my pizza when he put <laughs> onion and egg on his. He put pickle in the crust. Yeah, He's but you know what? Me. You know what? He called it a pizza. <laughs> it is. That's the za part of the pulpaza. It's a breakfast pulpaza. But you wanted a pizza. breakfast stop taco say, and you made a stop pizza. saying pulpaza. Stop no, it's a pul saying pulpaza. <laughs> That's a breakfast pulpaza. Stop. <laughs> we can change the name if you want. I mean, I'm not married to the name. <laughs> the name is the best part of it, honestly. <laughs> breakfast the pulpaza. least of yours. <laughs> You'll see. Oh. Well, when you come over for whenever we do the bachelor party crab and thing, I'll bring you guys some pulpazas and you'll you'll see the way. You're coming to America in February for the Olympics, dude. Yeah, but I'm you know that's a foreign kitchen. I don't know. We'll have to okay. see. Okay. We have so much to do when we get to Canada that we're gonna have to actually go soon. Otherwise, we're gonna have to be there for a month. Like we have no. to get we have to start checking stuff off. I that's haven't true. figured out how to pack a pulpaza, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll come up with a way. Maybe Saran wrap. Ooh. That could work. God, speaking of food, I uh, I came up with an idea for a. Actually, I came up with an idea for like a gross food game yesterday, and then when I was trying to put it together last night, I pivoted into a totally different idea. But I don't think we have time to. Yeah, do Yeah, we that should. Let's episode, do that so in probably, the next episode. We can yeah. wrap this one up, and then we'll start with that it, one and do. How's everybody's balls doing? Except for Gavin, way better. Kind of fine. Yeah. Oh, good. my mine feel good. It feels like when you get done working out and everything is like, okay, I can relax now. Yeah. It's like nothing's, nothing on my body is like scared anymore. Everything is okay. Well, well there you go. Yeah. Uh, That's e Eric's balls are no longer scared. And with that, you have completed <laughs> listening to an episode of the <laughs> Face Podcast, number 133. Uh, not the longest podcast we've ever done. Probably not the shortest either, but definitely one of the best, maybe. And look uh, out for uh, best of 2022 supplemental. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which absolutely. Should be out fall draft. soon. We also have the fall draft coming out. Uh, I don't know if the pizza videos are out yet or not, but boy, they were entertaining to watch and proof. And yes. uh, oh, they are okay, Eric. So they are. So go ahead and look for those if you haven't watched them already, and don't forget to vote for us in the Academy Awards or the Grammys or whatever it was. And we'll see you next week. Eric, are you putting anything at the end of the pizza video, or is it just gonna? <laughs> gonna come I out don't know or... what you're. I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's two. There's two things. What are the ends like? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't. Thanks for listening. Or... Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of <laughs> Face, and continues to stun the crew. Who puts cucumber in a bag anyway? Gavin's CO2 troubles return. Jeff talks about his Christmas tiny town, which holiday is the best, and once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. <laughs> <laughs>